Hold on tight, there's breaking news. The U.S. government just made waves by announcing their intentions to offload a massive $130 million in crypto. This revelation has the potential to rattle the already shaky market. Remember, we still haven't recovered from the recent market crash. But here's the twist. Shiba Inu is the only cryptocurrency out there that will be damaged the most. Intrigued? Stay tuned as I unravel the details for you. Disclaimer. The government's decision to sell the $130 million in seized cryptocurrency is tied to a court-approved move related to the Silk Road case. Last August, a court in Maryland gave the green light to forfeit cryptocurrency linked to the Silk Road investigations. This decision officially kicked in last December, leading to the upcoming sale of the confiscated cryptocurrency. But how does the U.S. government get cryptocurrency in the first place? The journey of cryptocurrency into the hands of the U.S. government begins with a legal investigation into illicit activities. Investigators trace the digital trails of cryptocurrency transactions associated with illicit enterprises. Once enough evidence is gathered, court approval is sought for the seizure of assets, including cryptocurrency. With the court's approval secured, law enforcement takes action to freeze digital wallets, gain control of private keys, or employ other methods to seize the identified cryptocurrency. Legal proceedings follow confirming the forfeiture of the seized assets through court orders. Simultaneously or preceding forfeiture, individuals involved in illegal activities face criminal trials. If found guilty, they may receive sentences such as imprisonment or fines. The value of the seized cryptocurrency is then determined based on its market value at the time of seizure. Following forfeiture, the government decides on the method of disposal for the cryptocurrency, whether it be selling it on the market, auctioning it, or employing other means to convert it into traditional currency. Public notices are issued, alerting the public about the government's intention to sell or dispose of the cryptocurrency, and providing an opportunity for interested parties to claim any legitimate interest in the seized assets. The sale of the cryptocurrency is then executed, with the government directing the proceeds into its accounts. These funds are subsequently utilized for various purposes, which may include covering law enforcement expenses, victim restitution, or other designated uses. But now let's get back to the main news of this video. The U.S. government now got the green light to sell 130 million U.S. dollars, and this news is not good for us. Here's something you should understand. As we delve into the current landscape of the cryptocurrency market, it's essential to acknowledge the challenging terrain we find ourselves in. Since the last approval of the Bitcoin ETF, we've been navigating a market downturn, and the recovery has proven elusive. The recent announcement of the U.S. government's decision to sell $130 million worth of cryptocurrency could potentially exacerbate the existing crypto crash. Investors and enthusiasts alike are closely watching how this development unfolds, as the sale of such a significant amount of cryptocurrency could add further pressure to an already strained market. The potential impact on prices and investor sentiment is a topic of concern, as it may contribute to making the uphill climb back to previous market highs even more arduous. The intricacies of the cryptocurrency market, coupled with external factors like government asset sales, play a pivotal role in shaping its trajectory, leaving stakeholders keenly attuned to the unfolding developments. The news of the U.S. government about to sell $130 million worth of crypto is damaging the entire crypto space, but the impact on Shiba Inu is arguably one of the most significant. Imagine Shiba Inu's price as a roller coaster, promising thrills and spills. Recently, this ride got a bit wild. First, the excitement soared as Shiba Inu's value shot up, removing a zero from its price. Enthusiasts were gearing up for a thrilling ride, anticipating significant gains. But suddenly, it felt like the coaster took an unexpected dip, leaving many frustrated. It's akin to strapping in for an adventure and finding yourself on a roller coaster unexpectedly plunging down. Amidst this frustration, there was a glimmer of hope. Shiba Inu started a slow ascent, as if the roller coaster was finally turning around. It was a relief for the Shiba Inu community, reigniting their trust and excitement. The ride was back on track, and people were ready for the next twists and turns. And then, just when the optimism was settling in, news broke that the U.S. government plans to sell a whopping $130 million worth of cryptocurrency. Cue the collective groan from the Shiba Inu community. It felt like being on that roller coaster, finally enjoying the ride, only to hear, hold on, we're adding more unexpected loops. This announcement injected a fresh wave of frustration. The community, which had just regained its composure, found itself grappling with uncertainty once again. 
It's like being on a roller coaster that can't decide whether it's a smooth ride or a series of unexpected drops. Cryptocurrency, especially the likes of Shiba Inu, has a knack for playing with emotions. Moments of elation, followed by bouts of frustration. The community now braces for the next segment of this roller coaster ride, hoping for fewer unexpected twists and a smoother journey ahead. And here's something very important that you should understand. The $130 million worth of crypto set for sale by the U.S. government consists entirely of Bitcoin, but it doesn't necessarily exempt it from impacting the broader crypto market. While it might seem like a specific asset sale wouldn't have a widespread effect, the interconnected nature of the crypto space tells a different story. Think of the crypto market as a tightly woven fabric. Even if you pull on one thread, the entire fabric might feel the tension. In the case of Shiba Inu, it's particularly susceptible to such market movements. Cryptocurrency prices often move in tandem, and significant events like a massive sell-off can create ripples across the entire space. Investors tend to react to market sentiment, and the news of a substantial sell-off, regardless of the specific cryptocurrency involved, can lead to a domino effect. Shiba Inu, being part of the broader crypto ecosystem, can experience fluctuations based on how the market interprets and responds to such news. It's like a small boat in a big ocean, the waves created by significant events can still rock it, even if the event itself appears to be focused on a different part of the water. So, the revelation that the $130 million in question is all Bitcoin doesn't necessarily shield Shiba Inu from feeling the impact of this impending sell-off. Investors in various cryptocurrencies often react collectively to market developments, and this interconnectedness can contribute to the broader market's sensitivity to such news. However, this is just the beginning. As we dive deeper into the unfolding scenario, it becomes apparent that the U.S. government is beginning to offload the funds obtained from the Silk Road case. The full amount of seized bitcoins, a staggering 5.8 billion U.S. dollars, reveals the magnitude of this financial maneuver. The previously mentioned $130 million worth of bitcoin marked for sale now appears to be just the initial phase. This vast quantity of bitcoins from the Silk Road case represents a substantial chunk of the cryptocurrency market. The implications of such a significant sell-off extend far beyond a singular transaction, signaling a substantial injection of cryptocurrency into the market. This revelation suggests a more protracted and impactful process as the government aims to liquidate the entirety of the seized assets. The market, including Shiba Inu and other cryptocurrencies, now braces for the unfolding consequences of this sizable sell-off. The interconnected nature of the crypto space means that the effects will likely reverberate across various digital assets, shaping the landscape in the days and weeks to come. While the disclosed information sheds light on the U.S. government's intent to sell a substantial amount of seized bitcoins, details regarding the seized amounts of altcoins like Shiba Inu remain undisclosed. However, speculation arises that the undisclosed amount is likely significant, given the context of the Silk Road case and the sheer scale of the overall seizure. The nature of investigations involving illicit activities often involves diversification of assets, and altcoins are no exception. Considering the comprehensive approach taken in the Silk Road case, it's reasonable to infer that the seized altcoins, including potentially significant holdings in Shiba Inu, contribute to the overall value of the seized assets. Moreover, the government's decision to publicly disclose the sale of a substantial amount of Bitcoin suggests a transparent approach, emphasizing the noteworthy size of the operation. This transparency, however, does not extend to the altcoins seized. The undisclosed amounts may be substantial, and the speculative nature of this assumption underscores the potential impact on the broader crypto market, including assets like Shiba Inu. The interplay of these undisclosed altcoins in the broader market dynamics will likely unfold as more information becomes available. And you better subscribe to this channel to not miss new developments in this sphere. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then click one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.